Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well. This is Ghost Chin 3. Hey, today I was going to do uh, my review and uh, not so much review, but to a point on uh, my bike pumps because I think this is important and I mountain bike, you know, I rock climb, mountain bike, uh, hike, everything, shoot, all my favorite outdoor things. But there was something I wanted to show you guys and, um, and tell you because a lot of people just, <clears throat> well, I don't know if a lot of people, but many people don't know. Uh, so I'm going to show you today the difference of uh, air pumps and CO2 pumps for bicycles. And I have a mountain bike, been mountain biking on the trails a lot. I don't do streets that much because idiot drivers either don't see you or try to purposely run you over, as some of you I'm sure know. And it's pretty dangerous and that's a sad thing that uh, drivers are that way. And it's much safer in the trails, believe it or not, even if you were to crash. And us mountain bikers, pretty much most of us have uh, on the trails, that just happens. But anyways, um, one of the things I was going to tell you, and I've talked, I actually researched this, and you guys can research and tell me what you find, but I talked to bike mechanics. I mean, I know pretty, a lot of good information on my bike. I do some bike mechanics on my bike, but I'm not one of these guys that's certified bike mechanic. I mean, they got the more tools than I do, and they know how to do that stuff better, all the way to the ball bearings, take everything apart. I can do most, but not all of it. So I'm not claiming I'm no expert. But one thing that's very fascinating that a lot of them told me, and I found research, if any of you guys are storing your bikes, it's rainy season, whatever it is, you're busy, you haven't ridden a while, or even if you're going to go ride, and you notice your tires are low. You had them filled, and both your tires are low. I mean, you're wanting, there's no leak, no puncture. Well, what I found out is when you fill them up with a pump, meaning like this one, and this one is uh, the <coughs> Ascent um, air pump, floor pump, because you put your uh, feet on here. Uh, this is a really good pump. It was like 15 bucks on sale, and uh, I recommend everybody have an air pump. You know, I, I a lot of years ago I didn't know why, but now I do, and I'm going to share that uh, knowledge with you. Uh, nice rubber grip handle too, and this thing is just a lot of air. This does Presta and the I say I keep saying Shaper uh, Shaper valves, and uh, so it does both. As you can see, the thinner that's a Presta and uh, another valve, but Anyways, I had a smaller one, the cigar size. You guys probably seen those, and maybe some of you guys have them. And I had it on my bike, and that pumps it up. And I've had to do that a few times. And I probably had about two flats in my life in the trails. And I have my tool kits and flat, uh, my uh, <coughs> tire patch kit on there. And they do work, by the way. You'll see my video I did on my bicycle, and I and I show you the my uh, my kits on there and everything I carry. And those do work. It got me instead of walking my bike miles back, got me. Uh, riding it back to my car and everything and I was good to go and I bought another inner tube. But anyways, what the guy told me is, um, like these CO2, I have this and this does both. This is a micro flight, flate. Um, hey, that's my cats uh, screwing around. Anyways, sorry. Um, very tiny, really, really cool. And I've had Presta valves, I've had uh, the sh other type and as you can tell, there's uh, there's a part where you screw it in right here. I mean, it'll do both right here. And this, of course, they have, I believe, 8 and 12 gram CO2 cartridges. This is 16. And, uh, of course, that goes in right here. And what the, the way this works real quick is you turn it all the way till it stops. Then you turn it a little bit more, half a turn or something. And what it does is it punctures the CO2, and this is already, by the way, you got to do this before you put the CO2 cartridge in here, already on your stem, on, uh, on the nozzle on your inner tube. So you want to do that first, and then put the CO2. Then you reverse it, and it's going to get cold, by the way, and then start shooting the CO2 into your uh, inner tube. So that's the way these things work. You turn it, it stops, and you turn it one more time, and half a turn, one turn, and you'll feel it, it punctures it, then the CO2, as you reverse it, and by the way, you can actually control the speed doing this, all that CO2 will come out and go into your inner tube. So anyways, I had filled my tires with this one a couple times. I keep these in my kit, in my uh, bike for emergencies when I'm out in the, on the trails. And what the guy told me, and I, like I said, I went to research it more. I believed him, but I figured I'd ask more, uh, just let you guys know. When you fill your tires up with these, the CO2s, well, the CO2 gas, yeah, it'll fill your tire. That's not a problem. 
but it's a temporary fix. And what happens is CO2 dissipates in your tires and the inner tubes faster. Um, I know weather climate, you know, cold weather, you know, maybe the heat, depending on what it is, and I store mine outside, you know, covered up, by the way. Um, what will happen is eventually your tires do get low. It happens in cars, not as fast as they do on mountain bikes, though. Well, what he told me is with, with air, you know, just typical air that you use from these air pumps or the smaller ones, you want to fill them up with that because what that does is the air actually lasts longer. Will they go down? Yeah, but not as fast. It'll be longer, months and months. And, uh, of course, varying on other factors like weather and other stuff. But basically, if you have your tires filled with CO2, I recommend emptying out, let the air come out. Just let them go flat, you know, push the nozzle in there, let the air come out. And then fill it up with an air pump. These are inexpensive, like I said. Um, they're, I mean, come on, they're portable. I'm not going to take it on the trail, but I'm, I can take it in my car. And the reason you want to do that is because once you, you don't want to fill it up after you have CO2 mix and air in there. So you want to fill it up with uh, just air. So that's what I'm saying, get the CO2 out. The CO2 is... Uh, basically, you're on the trail, something happened, maybe you fixed a flat or for some weird reason your tire disinflated, so you, you inflate it with your CO2 um, air pump right here. Well, that's just pretty much a temporary fix to get you back home or wherever you need to go. So basically what you want to do is eventually let all that CO2 air out. Fill it up with regular air and then you're going to notice a difference on your tires and they're going to stay more... Uh, they're going to stay inflated longer. It still eventually will go down a bit, but I guarantee you, you'll see it. And I've tested this, by the way. I believe that bike mechanics, really good guy, I know him. And I tested it. Like I said, I believed him. And sure enough, when my tires were filled on my mountain bike with CO2 only, they were going down in weeks. I mean, it was fast. And I kept thinking, leak? And I knew I, I didn't have a leak. Then he told me that. I let all that CO2 out, filled it up with air. Next thing you know... They, my tires stayed filled for a longer, longer time. So invest in something like this or that cigar-shaped one. Uh, like I said, small air pump. I used to have one on my bike, but uh, connected on there came with a clamp. Uh, like I said, real inexpensive. And they're small, and you just turn it and pump it. And yeah, it takes a little bit of work, but come on, nothing major. And um, and that puts air in it. But my dog saw it on my bike uh, at home and ate it one day. So huh, there goes that. I guess he thought it was a bone. Anyway, so now I have this big one. I may invest in another small little air pump to take on the trail as well. But like I said, I have this to help me out. And that's a good good choice. And uh, usually one of these canisters will fill up a whole tire. Depends. Um, sometimes two or one and a half. Just depends. But anyways, now you know. Fill up your bike tires with air. And um, and by the way, if you have the Presta valves, which are thinner, uh, obviously you can't go to the gas stations. Uh, your car tires have the valve just... Uh, as the bigger valves, uh, the Schaefer, I think I'm saying it right, but not correct me or I'll correct my, I'll write it down in the uh, review part. But anyways, basically there is an adapter you can buy and put on the Presta ones that are thinner and put it on there and it'll be wider like this. So that means you can go anywhere, fill up the tires, take out the adapter and you're back to your Presta valves. For Some of you guys have Presta valves because I've had them before too. They're, they're good. Some people like one, some like the other. I, you know what, to me, I like them both. I've had no problem with either one. Just the bigger ones, of course, uh, are available in more areas than Presta Valve. So that's probably the main big pro and con. Other than that, I hope you guys liked my review, air pumps. Um, like I said, very important for mountain bikes. Don't forget, you can use your mountain bike at end of the world scenarios or emergencies. You know what, there's no more gas. There's an uh, earthquake, there's... Uh, you know, like back east in the United States, you see all these snowstorms, floods. You know what? A mountain bike can get you anywhere. You don't need gas. It's just human power. So you can put your pack on, your weapons, whatever, and it can get you from point A to point B, save your life. Mountain bikes or, or road bikes, whatever kind of bicycle you have, can save your ass. So keep your bikes oil lubricated. Keep them in good shape. I, you know, mountain bikes are fun. I love the outdoors. And it uh, gives me a challenge as well. But you get to see the beauty of nature and everything animals out there but <clears throat> I also have my bike for my bug out if I need a bug out I throw that baby take the tires out I got the quick releases I can release the tires from there which shrinks down your bicycle if you have a small car and you know what it's a great thing to have for you guys to have bug out vehicles a bug out plan that you're going to go uh, anywhere for emergency 
I'm telling you, bug out uh, bicycle, as I'm going to call it, <clears throat> definitely a great thing to have. You, I'm telling you, you could even, if you're somewhere, you can use that as stealth mode. As you know, I have knobbies. Um, there's different, I'm not going to go on how many types of tires there are. The slicks, slicks are, for you guys that don't know, are the flat. People use on asphalt mainly. You know, they're just flat. You don't need knobby. Knobby, of course, you know, they have like grip, kind of like the people that four by it have the big tires and grips. That's for gripping the dirt and everything. And there's some that are just made for that. Um, I'm in between. I get the, the knobbies that can go asphalt and uh, dirt. Basically, any tire you could use for anything if you really had to. But you're not going to use those slicks, of course, in the trails. But can it be done? Of course. So, um, on asphalt, sometimes, some certain asphalt, the knobbies will make noise, so you're not in stealth mode. But in, in other situations, grass, dirt, whatever, you're not making that much noise. But uh, anyways, just something to think about. It's a great tool, uh, mountain bikes to have. Um, you don't have to get the most expensive, whatever, just something, like I said, <clears throat> you're not a mountain biker, think about, uh, you know, bug out type situations. Uh, uh, a mountain bike is an awesome thing to have. It's amazing. You can go through areas where cars can't, so you can go in and out of areas. So anyways, I uh, just thought I'd throw that little tidbit of uh, tip information on the bug out bicycle. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, like I said, your, you know, for your mountain bikes, fill up your hair. I mean your tires. So, all right. Take care. God bless. Hope you guys liked the video. And uh, click like. Subscribe to me. I'm getting some interesting videos. Got more coming. And you guys have a great day. Take care.